What's up guys? Welcome to your third Android tutorial in the finishing touches series uh, where we're basically going to add an add to our activity or to our application. Now we need to add something else within the Android manifest so once you guys go open that up and then within our application bracket we need to set up a new activity that's going to reference that add mob jar that we threw in here. So we're just going to say activity and then give us some space to work with again we're within our opening bracket of our activity now what we need to define is the android name which is going to again reference our jar and we're going to say android name like that and then within quotations com.google.ads.addActivity both the a's are capitalized and you guys have to spell it um, just like this you can't name this whatever you want this is referencing our our jar folder that we threw in there. And we're also going to say Android config changes, and we're going to set this equal to uh, keyboard, and then throw in one of these lines. I'm not for sure exactly what those are called, but that's like the shift, and then the button right above your return key or your enter key. Uh, it's just one of those straight lines. I'm not quite sure what that thing's called. My apologies, but. And we're also going to say Android keyboard um, hidden, and then another one of those little symbols and uh, orientation. And end your quotations, and you're basically done setting up that activity. Now we can actually use the ads within our XML or our layout. So that's what we're going to do. You can set up the ads two different ways, either in Java or in your your layout, for the most part. So we're going to do it within our main layout, which is basically our, you know, our layout with all the buttons and the scroll view. And we're basically going to set it up right after our scroll view for the most part. But to use the ads, we again have to kind of reference something within our our XML file here. So I'm basically going to set up that reference within our main linear layout, so we can use ads within that whole linear layout. Um, so that's what I'm going to do is basically. Go to your main, you know, if you have relative layout, whatever, just go into your main uh, setup here. And then we're going to say XML NS Android, or I'm sorry, not Android, ads, because that's going to refer to something that we're using, again, from the jar as well. So what, what we're going to do is set up kind of this reference bridge for the most part. And so we're going to say equals, and then we're going to say, you guys have to type this uh, verbatim as well. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash S-C-H-E-M-A-S dot Android dot com forward slash APK forward slash lib forward slash com dot Google dot ads. And then end quotation. Now it's kind of tedious, but uh, yeah, you do have to put this reference, so that's pretty important. And now we can set up our ad. So what we're going to do is we're going to go below our scroll view, wherever you guys want to put your ad. And to set this ad up, we're going to do kind of just like when we add a button or scroll view or another linear layout or whatever. But uh, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to say com.google.ads.addView. Um, and again, you guys have to type that uh, verbatim. This is referring to the jar folder that we threw in here. Now we're going to set this up. And we're just going to say Android ID forward slash, or I'm sorry, equals quotations at plus ID, just like any other time we set up an ID reference. And why it's important to have an ID, you guys really don't need to, but uh, if we want to like refresh or add, we can do that within Java as well. So that's why it's kind of nice to have an ID. But again, I, I doubt you guys need to, but uh, we're just going to say Android layout width equal to wrap content because you know it's going to give us an ad we're just going to wrap the content of it Android uh, layout height is also going to wrap the content and then we can use this ads basically that's what we set up um, in that reference of our main linear layout up above so now we can use this ads type thing and we're going to say ads and then add unit ID and I'll show you guys where to get that ID in the next tutorial because I want to talk about some stuff and I don't want to make this video like t like 20 minutes long or whatever and then the last thing we're gonna do is say load add on create 
So basically, if we reference this linear layout, or this uh, layout, XML layout in Java, like our set content view within our Java class, and we reference this XML, um, it's going to kind of load or add when, we, when it calls the onCreate method for that activity. So there we go. Basically done for the most part, guys. I will. You guys want to watch the next tutorial because I'm going to talk about some pretty important stuff that's going on for the most part. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good one.